Good afternoon, everyone. Andy Jacob here with the dot-com magazine Entrepreneur Spotlight Series. And we have a very, very excellent guest on the show today. If you're an entrepreneur, you should really watch this show because we're going to learn a lot about what not only it takes to be an entrepreneur, but what it takes to build a leading company. We have Ms. Zenya Beck. She is the co-founder of Freight Terra. And let me tell you, Freight Terra is absolutely knocking the cover off the ball in the freight business. They're actually redefining the entire freight business with their platform. They've got a moniker that I really love. It's called Ship More, Ship Green, and Stress Less. And we're going to get into that. Zenya has a very unique story about why shipping green is so important to her and her family. And she founded this company with her husband. It's a really beautiful and wonderful story that they've been able to put together with Freight Tara and Zenya. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you, Andy. It's great to be here. Let's pull the lens back to 30,000 feet. There's so much to talk about with what your platform's been able to do in the freight business. It's absolutely incredible what you and your husband and your team have put together. But let's pull the lens back a little bit and let's just at a high level tell the people what Freight Terra is all about. Freight Terra is the first low emission freight marketplace with instant pricing from hundreds of trucking companies and easy online bookings. We work with manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, and other businesses that need to ship freight in Canada, in the United States, and from Canada to the US cross border, and from the US to Canada. It works a lot like Expedia for freight. You put your origin and destination, the description of what you ship, the number of pallets, uh, the weight, and with just a click of a button, you will see pricing from multiple carriers available on your lane. You can now sort it by price, by carrier rating, by uh, delivery estimate, and by low emission option. And it's uh, all the quotes are ready to book. They're all inclusive. It saves so much time to our shippers that used to spend like hours and sometimes days looking for trucks at the good prices. So beyond that, we also automated sh shipping documentation. So your bills of ladings, your proofs of delivery, your shipping labels, everything is automatically generated by the system and your shipping history, previous orders, uh, your addresses and uh, past quotes are all uh, sitting for you conveniently online in your account. We also do tracking and, tracking and tracing as necessary for our shippers, but most of the time, tracking information is available also in your account uh, online, and we send our shippers notification when track is being dispatched or when your shipment is being delivered. So it's very, very convenient, amazing technology. And on top of that, we have the best customer service on the planet. We work with a group of very smart, very caring people. And if something is not on the website, if you have question, if there is an issue, you can just call our Fraterra Care and they will work really hard to help you and get you a quote or have your question answered. So we have hundreds of reviews from our customers uh, and many of them, most of them are five-star reviews. And they say Criteria is light years ahead of other, of other competitors, of other technologies that they tried or other traditional brokerages. So it's really, really exciting technologies that we have for shippers. It's awesome, Zenia. We've actually read the reviews, we vetted it, and it is really outstanding what's going on at Freight Terra. Everybody loves it. Now we know that you do business with a lot of giant companies. Fortune 500 companies do business with Freight Terra, but the bread and butter, the people that really also sort of push along the entire platform 
are the smaller type companies. So maybe you could address that and talk about that a little bit as well. Yes, Andy, absolutely. We work with big companies, but our bread and butter, as you said, our pride and joy is that we are able to help small businesses, lesser known companies that really make the life in America and in Canada as the way it is with a hard work and dedication. And as you said, we have hundreds of five-star reviews. And as I say, uh, it's not at the end of the day what we say, but it's what our customers say about us. So maybe at some point I will even read a few of those amazing reviews because they really, really are excellent. That's awesome, Zenya. Now, so, so if I'm a, a smaller business and I want to ship some pallets or even have a truckload of merchandise that needs to go within the United States or to Canada or that same company in Canada that wants to ship to the United States or within our own country as well. What I found very interesting, Zenya, is, is you've been able to put together through technology, if I'm going to ship to Canada or Canada is going to ship down to the United States, there's this incredible sort of system that really makes the, the transition to go between countries very seamless. So maybe you could talk about that a little bit because that's uh, very, very uh, stress-free for the people that are shipping pallets or trucks uh, through the different countries. That's right, Andy. Uh, it's uh, like I recently talked to one of the uh, brokers that I know, and he has been in business, he says, for 40 years. And he says that even among professionals, when he talks about shipping across border, people like, no, no, I don't want to do this. I have no idea how to do that. We greatly, greatly simplified it. So when you're shipping across border, you are actually going to be just enter, uploading a couple of pieces of documents that you would do anyways, and we take care of everything else. So it's really a big deal. I love it. So it makes things just stress-free for the clients. Uh, they, they have an opportunity also, which is very unique. Actually, this is something that just really separates Freightera from the pack, if there even is a pack, is that you specialize in having certain freight companies that are able to ship green. And they have a certain designation or certification uh, perhaps from a third body that lets you know at Freightera that these companies are shipping green and, and you can go on this platform and select those shipping green freight liners. And something very interesting is that typically the ones that are shipping green even cost less money than the ones that aren't shipping green. So let's talk about how all that works at Freightera. That's right. Uh, what we found when we actually started to work with uh, Smartway certified companies, that they usually, uh, because they focused on performance, they focused on fuel reduction, they usually are better run and they are more efficient companies. So we find that a lot of them are much less expensive as well. So it's a beautiful thing is that shippers can shake uh, Shippers can ship with, uh, with uh, certified companies, do a good thing for the planet, but also it doesn't cost them anymore. I love it. And doing great things for the planet is what you and your husband are all about, the co-founders of Freightera. I know you have a wonderful story about why the environment is so important to you and why uh, shipping green has become the way of Freight Terra and has made it one of the leading companies, the leading platforms in shipping. So maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about this remarkable story about why shipping green and the environment is so important to you. Absolutely. Well, Freight Terra's green mission started as a deeply personal story, deeply personal mission. I grew up in Siberia on the shores of this remarkable Lake Baikal. It's a beautiful, biggest uh, freshwater lake in the world. It's uh, like, the the, it's really pristine. The shores are beautiful. The water is so clean. You can drink it without boiling. And it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
It's one of the wonders of the world. And when I was 12 years old, I was, I just wanted to write about Baikal. And first I wrote for local newspapers. And when I was uh, a student in university studying journalism, it was unquestionable to me that when I work in media, I will actually be writing about environment, Lake Baikal and how environment and health are related. So in 1991, I met my future husband and through Terra CEO and my co-founder, Eric Beckwith. We met at one of the press conferences through Tahoe Baikal Institute. It's a student exchange between United States of America and Soviet Union at that time. It was designed to promote peace and collaboration between our countries. So because Eric was working and quite well known in California at that time for his uh, conservation work, and I was working as environmental journalist in Russia, we bumped into each other on uh, several occasions. And um, several years later, we decided that we're gonna pursue a relationship. So in 1996, uh, I went to California. I joined Eric there and we built our own house on our own land, and in 1999, we had a baby boy born, and he was born healthy and happy, but at around age one, he developed life-threatening asthma. Sometimes we would actually just go for a long walk and it would end up, we would end up in hospital. So it was really stressful, really scary. We didn't sleep nights just listening to him breathing, and which couldn't understand why, because we were living in the mountains in Sierra Nevada and the sky was blue. It seemed like we were away from the big cities, but as a journalist, I did some research and I found that we were living actually in one of the most polluted with ground ozone areas in the United States. So our California dream was over. In 2004, we decided we're gonna to move to Vancouver uh, for our son. And uh, we applied as a, as we applied as skilled workers and uh, we got our immigration papers uh, as skilled workers, but underneath the surface, we were actually environmental refugees. So in uh, 2014, when we started Free Terra, we, wanted to bring our green DNA with it, with us. And we realized that by being in the midst of transportation industry, we actually could do something meaning meaningful about it. You may know that 7% of, uh, uh, of uh, greenhouse gas emissions right now are coming from freight transportation. Mm -hmm. And if we do nothing, if we do business as usual, then by 2050, it's going to be 50%. And it doesn't matter what we think about global warming or about climate change. This is an atmospheric pollution. This is air pollution that actually is killing people. About 8.5 million people in the world are dying every year from atmospheric pollution. And I just checked online and 25 million Americans have asthma. It's uh, about 8% of population. And in Canada, surprisingly, it's even higher. The number is even higher. It's uh, almost 10% of population. It's our children, it's, our, us, it's ourselves, uh, people that are sensitive, they're like canaries in the mind. So it's a serious issue. So what can Fridera do? What can we do? What are we doing right now? As you said, we are working with, uh, with SmartWay certified carriers, but how we started, we actually started with thought leadership just to bring the issue in the spotlight. So in uh, really early in the company story, our CEO was approached by Climate Change the New Economy magazine, London-based, and uh, they wanted him to write an article about green future for freight. It's our vision. So 
So shortly after that, we were invited to Marrakesh to uh, COP22 uh, climate change conference. And uh, we spoke about green future for freight there as well. And after that, we were approached by a smart way program in Canada. It was, it's run by US EPA and Environment Canada. And they wanted us to feature SmartWay certified carriers on our website. So that's how Freightera became the first low emission freight marketplace. But it's not the only thing that we do. Um, you may know that every time, every day, when you look on the road, 30% of the tracks are empty. And on the backhaul tracks, uh, situation is even worse. It's about eight, about eighty percent of tracks returning uh, empty. So working with carriers, filling this empty capacity is a very important step. Beyond that, even higher impact is what we call in transportation mode shifting. When you take freight from tracks and you put it on rail, it's a uh, Reduction actually is about 60%. And that's why we've worked closely with several large companies, uh, several large rail companies in Canada and in the US. So this is how Freeterra's green mission is working. And most recently we had four former Amazon executives that joined us and they were attracted by company culture and by our green mission. So you can imagine that bringing the talents, the expertise in customer service and in technology and the passion for environment, Freeterra's technology, Freeterra's customer service and Freeterra's impact is going to only get better over time. This is an amazing story, Zenya. You know, I can't imagine having asthma, but as you mentioned, 25 million Americans have asthma. To not be able to breathe has got to be one of the one of the true tragic things that people can experience in their life because oxygen is so important and breathing is so important and and you've really put your money where your mouth is you and your husband you've built this platform you want to change the world your story is remarkable that you've been able to move to Canada as an environmental refugee. Uh, and certainly hearing the story for all the people watching the show, they're going to look at their own life and say to themselves, maybe I should perhaps, uh, if I'm not already doing so, include some type of social positive impact into my business as an entrepreneur like Zenia and her husband have been able to do. Uh, so really remarkable story. Congratulations and our hats off to you, Zenia, which is why we wanted you on the show today, because this is a true entrepreneurial success story that you and your husband have been able to start by meeting each other back in Russia many, many years ago and, and building not only a love affair, but a love of your own business as well. Let's talk about Freight Terra a little bit more, because I think people watching the show, they want to say to themselves, you know, they built this amazing platform. It's built on technology. How did you build it, Zenia? Was there a technology team that came around or was it built by you and or your husband from a technological perspective? How did you build the platform to do all these amazing things to make people be able to ship more, ship green, and of course, um, have stress less stress in their shipping? Well, uh that's a good question, Andy. Um, Eric and myself, we actually are web developers. That's what we have done. I like when I moved to uh, California from Russia, I couldn't, I didn't think that I could be journalist anymore. I was uh, English as a second, second language. I speak better now, but at that time, it just was not something I could do. And I wanted to do something. And it was uh, like a 1996 internet was happening and I thought I want to learn something I want to learn something that actually is interesting to me so I started to learn web development web design a little bit of programming here and there and I started my first uh, business uh, from home in California and we were already at that time 
working remotely. I was working with uh, customers from California, uh, from Bay Area. And the awesome thing was I was going to this small college, Sierra College in California. We had people that were working there as the trainers that came from Bay Area and they were working with big companies there. It was hands-on training and it was wonderful. It's really also uh, it's a good story by itself. So we are web developers. And Eric, a uh, GIS um, specialist, so he was working on in programming of maps. So all of those things that we can do, we actually, we're doing now, it did come from ourselves, from our own team, and now we're attracting better and better talent to make the platform even better. I love it. What, what a wonderful story. This is just, just a remarkable story of, of starting and, and learning and, and becoming and doing. And it's really, really awesome, Zenia. Now, I'm going to indulge myself a little bit because I know you probably have a couple of favorite testimonials that people have written about, uh, about the company. Really amazing. And I, I, I know because I've actually read all the testimonials, they, they, they just go on and on and on and on. I mean, it's so many people love what you're doing. It's just incredible. So maybe you could pick out one or two of your favorite testimonials and maybe read them to us because I think it's very worthwhile to let people know what you're doing at Freytera. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me, Andy. Um, I printed a few and I will read the ones, uh, the most recent ones actually from Google reviews. We saved our customer more than 50% of their shipping by using the service and they were blown away. The interface was simple and fast and made it easy to book the shipment. Great work over there. We will be using Fritera anytime we can in the future. Next one, my first cross-border shipment. Fritera staff was very professional and everything was arranged in less than an hour, including brokerage, as we were talking about. I will be using Fritera for all of our shippings going forward. And maybe just one more. We are a small business and haven't purchased some equipment from USA. We were looking to ship to Burner BBC. We don't have any experience in shipping and didn't need any. Using Fritera was straightforward, simple, and fast. They were super responsive and competitive. Great job, Fritera. Thank you. That's awesome. And, and they go on and on and on. So it's really, really amazing what you've been able to do, Zenya. A lot of people are commenting about the platform, about how easy it is. Of course, people can participate to save money and at the same time help the environment, which is really, really important. Zenya, I know you've only sort of cut out a certain amount of time today, but there's a couple questions more that I'd like to ask you about entrepreneurship, because we have a number of younger entrepreneurs that watch the show. They like to glean information from successful entrepreneurs. So um, a lot of entrepreneurs sort of say to themselves, well, how does someone get to become a co-creator, a co-founder of a company like what you've been able to build? And, and when people from the outside looking in who are younger entrepreneurs look at the success that you and your husband have had, they might say to themselves, ah, it was easy for them. But we know that it probably wasn't as easy as what it looks like. So do you have some inspiration um, or some type of message that you can give to the younger entrepreneurs about adversity and how it always doesn't go as well as planned, but you have to be ready to sort of you know, maybe make a pivot or maybe get around the pothole in a certain way and keep on going and keep on pushing so you ultimately get to where you want to go? Oh, absolutely. Um, well, my husband says, and I really like uh, what was he's saying, we eat challenges for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's so true. It's really not easy to be an entrepreneur. And whatever can go wrong, will go wrong and you have to you have to accept that but it's so worth it because at, it's one of the best investments you can actually do is in yourself and uh, and in your business you have control over that so if you are inspired about something if you want to do something and if um, especially if it's actually if it has a mission meaningful mission there's so much to do in the world. There's so much meaning that we need. 
go for it. Absolutely go for it. And it is going to be difficult. It was difficult for Eric and me. Uh, it challenged our relationship, but we just came on the other side of it, stronger as a couple. It's been a great experience. I love it. And, and oftentimes people look at someone who's, who's been able to reach, you know, the pinnacle of success in their particular field. And they say, boy, I'd like to replicate what that person is doing. Or, or I would like to reach that level of success. And then the next question they really need to ask is, am I willing to, to put in the work? Am I really willing to make that happen? And when your husband says, and I made a note of it while you were talking, we, because I love this quote, and I'm, and I'm just going to remember it and use it in the future. We eat challenges for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is really a great quote. So I, I, I would expect maybe your husband's going to come out with a book of his famous quotes maybe at some point in time in the future, because I love that very much. That's really, really remarkable. Zenia, what you've been able to do with Freytera and with your husband and your entire team is really remarkable. Uh, I wanted to thank you so much for spending some time explaining about how you're changing the entire freight environment, the entire freight business with your platform by allowing people to ship more with a lot less stress and important to your personal mission to be able to ship green and important to everybody's mission in the world to make sure that the environment remains as as clean as it possibly can. Uh, your passion about asthma with your personal story was, was very, very um, revealing. And I wanted to thank you for sharing that personal story to help our viewers understand more about why you have such a commitment through Freytera to make sure that you do uh, commit to uh, shipping in a green way with your SmartWay certified carriers or couriers, if you will. So Zenia, I wanted to thank you so much again. This has been a true delight. You're, you're an inspiration. And I think, I, think I, I, I can say for not only myself, but the people watching the show that we're all expecting much greater things even to come for Freight Terra. Thank you so much, Andy. It's been a pleasure. 